Hey everybody, Mean Dean back at you with another video today. And today we're talking about one of my favorite uh, wineries in the Similkameen Valley. Kind of an underrated gem, not one I hear people talking about an awful lot. And they should be, because it's really good stuff. Uh, this is Liber Farm and Winery. So if you're traveling, you know, if you're traveling from the um, uh, Lower Mainland, you're going on Highway 3 and you're traveling through the Smil Camino, you're gonna, the last one you're going to find. In fact, you, if you pass them, you're basically on, your, on the last uh, part of the road to Asoyas. Uh, so, but they are worth checking out. They're worth finding it. I'm, I'm distracted by Guest Cat, who just made an appearance down here. Um, I don't know what she thinks she's doing. Uh, hey, Guest Cat, if you're going to make an appearance, come and sit in her chair. Or she's just going to cause some havoc down there. Of course she is. So i got three wines to taste for you today. They're 2020 Estate Rosé. Uh, 2020, I think. 2020 Hello Sunshine, which is a blend of Riesling and Muscat. And a 2020 Everyday Chardonnay, which is an unoaked Chardonnay. Um, they also make a fantastic oak Chardonnay, uh, which is called this uh, Reserve... Uh, something reserved, estate reserve, estate. Anyway, it's a reserve. It the black label is delicious. Uh, this one's only twenty one ninety nine, um, and it's completely say unoaked, only touches stainless steel, uh, and in the past it's been lovely. It's a it's a real good as unoaked Chardonnay goes, which is not always my thing. Well, it's never my thing. I like oak Chardonnay, um, but this is one one of my favorites. So I'm going to taste through these wines today and uh, give you an idea of what to expect. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start. Got myself the 2020 Rosé here, 100% Merlot. Uh, done in a, I call it a French style, uh, Sagne style Rosé, fermented in stainless steel at low temperature to ultimately respect the fruit. Well, that sounds pretty good. 100% mm. mm. organic, if that matters to you. Mm, strawberry and lemon curd a bit of raspberry mm, pink grapefruit mm, lovely all right let's dive in I think it's very reminiscent of the one last year, which we enjoyed. Uh, a lot of red berries. A little bit of rose water. A little bit of... Uh, um, like dried herbs. Dried thyme. Dried sage. Pink grapefruit. Nice finish, medium, medium plus finish, I'd say, probably. Mm. Yeah, lovely. Okay, $24.99 from the wine shop. <coughs> All right, let's move on to Hello Sunshine. Now, memory serves from last year. This is a patio sipper, if ever there was a patio sipper. So if you're asking yourself, where can you get these wines, I'm not really sure where you can get them uh, in liquor stores and that. You can see them from time to time. The most obvious place, obviously, to get them from the winery. Um, this, so I call this a Similkameen winery, which it is, technically. Um, all this fruit from the, is from the Similkameen, but they're really going to be in a soy winery as of, well, as of now, really. They're uh, just breaking ground on a new location uh, in a soyas, and for this year, they're actually doing the tastings at, uh, I think they're doing the tastings at the ground, or close to it, but the outside, temporary location. Um, it's on Highway 97 in Osoyoos. It's uh, down by the south area, a little not too far from La Stella. Um, so you can absolutely go see them and taste through their portfolio. Um, tell Mike, the owner that I sent you, he'll give you a 35% discount. Um, but uh, yeah, here, so here's their website You can uh, where you can book. Tasting. So, uh, if you've got some time again in the Okanagan and the Inosoyos, I absolutely recommend you go see these guys. They're uh, just terrific people, really excellent family and good grapes. Mm. So, this is, oh, whew, I 
believe this is what they would call an aromatic. Wow. 52% Riesling, 48% Muscat, ancient stainless steel. It smells like it's going to be really fruity. But residual sugar, 1.69, so not likely anything but dry. But let's uh, taste it and see. He's from the Similkameen as well. I, I think they're all they're all Similkameen wineries. Wines, I mean. But the Muscat comes from the Okanagan Valley, a portion of it. So I think this is probably called BC VQA, British Columbia. The other ones say BC VQA, Similkameen. So there's, I don't know what smells, uh, reminds me of a diversity There's some lychee there, intense white flowers. Tropical fruit like pineapple and guava, papaya, a little bit of underripe banana. Nice. All right. Yeah. Very fruity, very refreshing. Um, medium acidity, medium body. Medium plus finish, nice. Mm. And this is twenty one ninety nine at the wine shop as well. Patio sippers. It's, uh, not many Riesling Muscat blends are on the Okanagan. But there's not the only one, but there's probably not too many of them. And it's very dry, not bone dry, but dry. So certainly don't. Uh, you know, Muscat can quite often be off dry. Riesling can quite often be off dry combination of the two you'd think would definitely be off dry but you'd be wrong it's definitely it's definitely dry mm, yeah oh a little bit of citrus a lemon comes through at the end and pineapple medium plus acidity nice another good one wow Okay, so uh, 2020 Everyday Chardonnay. As I said, completely unoaked. $21.99. And it's also organic. Uh, this one and the uh, rosé are also are both organic, if that's important to you. All kinds of fruit there. Pineapple and... Uh, uh, some minerality. Like uh, green pear, a red apple. Mm. Yeah, you know, that's not my style of Chardonnay. It's not, but it's really nice. Um, it's subtle, and you know, it's called an everyday Chardonnay because it's. And it's kind of perfect for that. Just pull it out. It's a, I mean, you could, Chardonnay is not always what I call a patio sipper, but this one certainly is. The uh, notes they sent me, the um, tasting notes say, Enjoy everyday Chardonnay with good friends and family who deserve scallops, halibut, or veal. Sorry, friends. I mean, I don't have any family that deserves scallops or halibut. Well, I mean, if my wife deserves scallops, they'd kill her, so, you know, probably not. She deserve halibut, which she probably does, but she doesn't like it very much. Because nobody deserves veal. No, that's not true. Veal's fine. We don't eat a lot of veal, but when I do eat it, it's pretty darn good. Boy, I had a good veal cheek recipe recently. Oh. Mm. Anyway. So this, this is exactly what I expected it to be. Lovely patio sipper. Uh, really probably good with uh, scallops, halibut, or veal. Although I... Yeah, like a, a lemony halibut. Because there's a lemon, lemon curd here. Tropical fruit, citrus, nice long, medium to long finish, a lot of minerality, kind of what you might expect from an unoaked Chardonnay. What I find I like more about this one than some of the others, well I don't drink a ton of unoaked Chardonnay, 
Um, I wouldn't, wouldn't confuse this with Chablis or anything, but okay. it's very it's a very typical example, I think, of an oak Chardonnay from the oak. <laughs> These grapes, I think, come all from the Cibola community, do they? Yes, they do. Um, yeah. Gently basket pressed and aged in stainless steel. Uh, anyway, okay. So, delicious, as I said. So, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, yes. Now, now, no, you're not getting up here. It's over. It's over. Anyway, everybody, have a great day. Drink great wine. Talk to you soon. Thanks.